Topless presents 10 Unbelievable Pokemon Go Stories. Pokemon Go players all over the world have had many crazy stories to share since the game's launch, and we've collected the 10 most unbelievable Pokemon Go stories so far. Number 10, the teen who discovered a dead body. A 19-year-old Wyoming girl, Shayla Wiggins, said she got up and went for a little walk to catch Pokemon Go. However, the game led her to a shocking surprise. A dead body in a river. The pursuit of Pikachu and friends led her to a highway bridge over the Wind River near the city of Riverton, where she jumped a fence to approach the water. She spotted two deer near the water's edge and then a corpse lying prone in the water wearing a black shirt and pants. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office said that it was investigating the death and believed the man simply drowned. Wiggins remains unswayed and will continue to play the game. I might go get a water Pokemon, she said. I'm going to try. Number 9. A guy was caught cheating on his girlfriend. The number one rule of cheating? Don't get caught. In today's age, you have to be a lot more careful about that rule when it comes to cheating on your spouse because that juicy Pikachu you caught at your mistress's house can also be the very reason she finds out in the first place. New Yorker Evan Schreiber claims he's now single after his girlfriend discovered he was cheating on her, thanks to Pokemon Go. After canoodling with an ex in Bushwick, Schreiber said he opened up the game and caught a bat character. His current flame happened to look at his game activity and saw that he had caught a Pokemon while at his ex's house. When he didn't have a good excuse as to why he was wandering around his ex's neighborhood, his current girlfriend ghosted him. She found out and hasn't contacted me since then, Schreiber said. Number 8. The Birth of a New Industry People try to make a market out of anything, we suppose. A number of people apparently took to Craigslist this week to offer their ahem, professional services in tracking and capturing Pokemon. One New York City enthusiast who offered her services quickly removed the post. Turns out, official Pokemon Go rules states that you are only permitted to play on your own account. Number 7. Robbers use Pokemon Go to lure in victims. As fun as Pokemon Go is, you had to expect someone to use it to do dirt at some point. A group of thieves set up lure modules at Pokestops to rob people at gunpoint when they got to the area. What no one told them was their own location was given away as a result. Send this one off to the world's dumbest criminals before the award season closes. Authorities charged Shane Michael Baker, 18, Brett W. Miller, 17, and James D. Warner, 18, with first-degree robbery and armed criminal action. All three were being held at bail set at $100,000. Cash only. Number 6. Pokemon Go players fall off cliff in attempted capture. In just a week, Pokemon Go shot to the top of Apple's free apps chart and has been downloaded at least 100,000 times on Google Play Store. While hugely popular, the game is also leading to an unexpected side effect. Injuries. In the San Diego area, two men fell off a cliff in North County while trying to catch a Pokemon in Pokemon Go. One man found 50 feet down the cliff was unconscious and another was 80 to 90 feet down the cliff. Pokemon Go put me in the ER last night, read one post on the Pokemon Go subreddit. Not even 30 minutes after the release last night, I slipped and fell down a ditch, said the Reddit user. Number 5, this guy used a drone to try to catch Pokemon. Hate walking a considerable distance to find a Pokemon character? You may want to take a tip from one Tumblr user who tried to use a drone to cheat. Perchbird, real name Liam, posted a photo that showed his phone running the app while mounted on a drone. The caption just says, I'm a cheater. That you are, Perchbird, but you didn't get very far, did you? With only a non-Wi-Fi connection, it would have been too choppy to throw a Pokeball, so Liam was restricted to the broadcast area of his Wi-Fi and could only move the drone in a 50-foot radius around the router. There were no Pokemon in the area. Under certain conditions, one could theoretically send their drone-phone combination off to catch them all. You'll just need a stronger signal and a drone that doesn't fall out of GPS mode when duct-taped to a smartphone. 
Number 4. Man quits job to play Pokemon Go full time. A 24 year old man from New Zealand has quit his job to play the monster catching game full time. The man, Tom Curry, told that he quit his job in Auckland last week to begin a two month trip across New Zealand in an attempt to catch them all. Literally. His goal is to catch all 151 Pokemon in the game. Curry booked 20 bus trips and has already visited 6 towns on the South Island. He says he caught Pokemon everywhere he stopped and already has 90 of the game's 151 Pokemon. Number 3. Two Marines use Pokemon Go to help police catch an attempted murder suspect. Turns out Pokemon Go is pretty great at apprehending attempted murder suspects. Okay, so the two marines who helped police catch this guy didn't exactly know he was that bad of a guy, they just reported him for child annoyance. But police later found outstanding warrants for a much more serious crime. Xavier Soch and Seth Ortega went to downtown Fullerton hoping to hunt monsters on the new Pokemon Go smartphone game. Instead, the Marine Corps veterans helped police in the Orange County City catch a man who was bothering children at a playground. Investigators later learned the man, identified as Jacob Kells, was wanted for attempted murder by authorities in Monterey County. Number 2. People are hiding in police station bushes. File this under really stupid things to do at this time. The Duval Police Department warns, one way of not playing smart is to go creeping around the Duval PD. We have had some people playing the game behind the PD, in the dark, popping out of bushes, etc. This is high on our list of things that are not cool right now. Instead of hiding in the shadows, the police station asks that you come in during business hours and say hello before hunting for Pokemon in and around the police station. Number 1. President of Israel plays Pokemon Go. The President of Israel is playing Pokemon Go. He posted a photo of Meowth in the presidential residence with the caption, Call the security. Thankfully, security was not needed. It is assumed he captured the low level Pokemon easily. Alright, guys, first I'd like to ask you to subscribe. Then, if you want to watch more, check one of these videos out. I run a gaming channel called Queeble TV. I make tutorials, gameplays, and cinematics all with the touch of my commentary. Give it a click.